My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UiPath. Yesterday I solved the problem at the UiPath forum in where we have to check for an expired date in an Excel file. However, I realized that the solution, uh, the sound was very bad, so I decided to retake it now. Horo1016 was very happy with the solution, but let's make the sound a little bit better for him. So the case is quite simple. We got an Excel sheet here. In the J column we got some dates and in the R column we got emails. I changed his email to mine and otherwise I haven't changed anything. We want to find out uh, if there's expired date and that is if it's um, earlier than today's date which is the 2nd of May. So all these dates up here are expired and all those here are not. If these ones are expired we want to send a mail to this mail. However, there's no mail in uh, some of them, So, but imagine that the, there will be an email address in all of these. Let's solve that in UiPath. First, we will mark this column. I will copy this column here, because we will use that later. Let me close down Excel and go to UiPath. First, we want to read the Excel application scope. By the way, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about UiPath and RPA. Then we would need to put in the workbook path. You can either create a variable or just um, put it in directly. I place mine on the desktop. It's called sample data. Let us open it. We will untick visible. We'll just do the operations in the background. Then we will have a read range still from the Excel activities. Drag this guy in. We will create an output variable, which will be a data table. So control K, DT input, like this. Now we will input now we have our Excel sheet in this data table here. We can inspect it down here in variables and see that we indeed created a data table called DT input, like this. Then we want to iterate through this data table to look at the dates. So go find a for each row, like this, drag it in. Let me delete this body here. We want to iterate through our data table DT input and let's first inspect the date format. So what we'll do here is that we'll just make a right line and write out the dates in the date column. So what we'll do here is that we'll say uh, for each of the rows, we'll write out the current row and we will say the column name, that's item. And we uh, copy that next cal date, that will be that column, and then we'll say to string. In this way, we will write out all the dates in the output. So let's see how that looks like. UiPath runs and we wait a few seconds. Now we're there. We can go down to output. Let me open it again. And we can see here that we've got all the dates like this. And uh, so let's copy one of them. Doesn't matter which one. Copy, then open a notepad and then it's inspect the data. So we got the data here and we need to think about how the format is. The format here is that we have the month first then the days and year and an hour, minutes, seconds. And in the .NET date time, this will look something like this or not something. It will look like this month, that's M with pics. And then we'll have days and then the year. And then we'll just say hour, minute, second. This one we'll use as well. So we will copy it. And now we will assign, uh, we will take this, whatever we get out here, we will assign that to a variable, a date time variable, so we can compare it with today's time. So create a variable and call this date input, like this. And then we'll go to variable type, browse for types, and then we'll find a date time type. So search for date time, and under M scorelib 4.00, under system, take this date time. Not any of the others, that's important. Take this one. Then we'll click OK. So now we created a date time variable. Then we can uh, drag in and assign here. And we could, um, we have it here. And we will assign um, the days that we get here, we will assign that in the date time format. So date input, like this. And then what we'll do here is that we'll we'll uh, take this string that we get here and convert it into a date time. So let me open this value up here. You could of course also write it in here, but it's a little bit more easy to see here. So what we'll do is that we'll say date time dot pass exact. And what this does is that we'll have a parentheses and then we will have our input. 
Our input is the one that we created up here. So uh, let me just click OK, because we'll need this one up here. So copy this, go to back to the assign, and we can edit for it more. So we will need a string, and that string we got here, that will be our um, date in a string. Then we will say comma, and now we need to specify what format we have this date in. And we did that here in their, our notepad, so we can just copy this. Then we'll paste it in here. Then a quotation mark, like this. So now we specified how uh, our uh, UI path should read our date here. And then we just need to specify the culture info. So that will be system dot globalization culture info invariant culture like this. So that's it. Now we have our date input, and we don't need this right line anymore. So let us delete that. Then um, we need to evaluate. So if um, this uh, if this uh, date uh, input up here is um, less than today's date, then we want to send an email. So we need an if. Find an if and drag that in here. So what we'll just do is that we'll say date input is less than date time now. That one will give us the system time of today. And those two will always be in the same format. So uh, now we have um, our comparison. And then we can say if this is true, then the date is expired. So we could choose to send an Outlook mail message. Uh, here, drag this guy in. So the two, well, that will be the row item, and then whatever, whatever in the uh, email. I don't uh, remember the header, so let us open the Excel sheet again and just uh, find our header. That was just email, so we'll copy this one here. Close down the Excel sheet, open UI path, and then in the quotation marks here, we'll put in the header to string, like this. Then the subject, well, that could be something like, we could write whatever we want. We could have the date, date input to string, like this uh, here. Then we'll say plus, space, and then we could say something like, maybe just, is expired. You could of course, of course also put in a lot more info. And then what we'll need here is that we will need a, a mail account and that one will go over here. You can just choose mine but feel free to take whatever you want. And this one will be in quotation marks so let me do like this and this is enough. So this is a sufficient solution. This one will read the Excel sheet, it will compare the dates from the date column, and it will send an email to the mails in the email. We cannot run this because we only have two mails in. It's not, it will throw an exception. And, um, but this one is the solution. I will attach the solution to this video. That's how you do it.